Hey, what's up everybody? It's Pablo1713. Hi and welcome to Anno1800 Quick Tip and Trick number 24 and today we're gonna talk about the free Sangha cows and also easy money from them. So we are located right now in the Mbesa. We have some fire so here I'm just gonna uh, do this. So perfect timing. Alright, so we are in the Mbesa as I said and this is where we are producing Sangha cows. And if you're gonna go to the dried meat, you will see that this is where we have the Sangha farm. And why are we gonna need them? Well, we, if we're gonna go to the Cape Trilogy or into the Old War, it's up to you, you will have your Scholars and they got the need of leather boots. So if you're gonna go to the Scholars, we will see that the leather boots are made from the Sangha cows. So we're gonna need to import them. And there is uh, actually some small trick that is also connected with my previous video, which is lucrative trade. So we're going to use our Battle warship, cruiser Battle Cruiser. As you can see, we have Jabba Africa and he got some specialists that is that are reducing the prices that he can have from AI ports. So as you can see, trade prices minus 10, minus 20, minus 15, minus 15 again and minus 10. So in total, we have minus 50 from the prices. And why are we going to need this? Well, we're going to create the trade road with our battle cruiser. So if we're gonna go to Enbesa, we will see that we have the port town right in here where we can actually buy goods. And here we got the Sangha cows. As you can see, the price is really low. It's just 20 points. So it's really cheap for 150. And as you can see, in return, we can sell some really awesome goods for a really high amount of money. 66, 66K for the steam carriages. 44k for the gramophones, 2k, 2.5, almost 2.7k from the penny farthings, and 13k from the pocket watches. As you can see, we can have a nice return by selling just a few pieces of this and having Sangha cows for just free, or actually, he's gonna pay us some extra money. So, before we're gonna set up the trade road, you're gonna go to your trading port, click right in here in the statistic menu. And here you have the production tab. We, uh, first of all, you have the all goods, but you can sort it by customer goods. And here we have the goods that we are looking for. So we got the watches, as you can see. And I am just checking how many watches I am producing and what's the gap between the demand and the production that I have. As you can see, supplies on the green. So right now I'm producing seven pocket watches and five is the demand. I have two pocket watches gap. And if I will go to the penny farthings, you will see that the gap is really small, so I'm almost on the edge, so I will not use the penny farthings. And then we have gramophones, right? So we are looking for gramophones right in here. So I have just one gap in here, and in here I have also three and two in here. You also get the information right in here, as you can see. Current pot potential 2 by 2 and current potential 3 by 3. So this means that I can actually use one piece from those two items and two pieces from the pocket watches. So how are we going to know what's the time for the ship to travel from this, from here to here? Where if you're going to go to the Mbesa, I have the trade roads right in here. So if I'm going to go into the port town and click the statistic menu, you will see that in the storage, I am importing from the Cape Trilogy, for example, glass. So in the information right in here, I have the trade road. And I, if I will click it, you will see that the trade road is changes, taking about 21 minutes. As you can see, 22, 21 minutes, 20 sometimes. So every 20, 21 minutes, I have a ship that is traveling from the Cape Trilogy to the Mbesa. So this is the time that the ship needs to travel between two wars. So this means that one multiple 20 minutes means that I can on a maximum use 20 pieces for gramophones and steam carriages and 40 pieces for the watch. But this is the maximum. I will not use the maximum because, you know, it, it is very. So I'm going to prepare the trade road. So the trade road name is Cape and Besa Jabba Cows. We have the Jabba and we're going to add our port. So Cape Trilogy, we're going to go and pick up the goods that we we're talking about. So I'm going to take about 13 watches, as you can see, 13 watches, 10 steam carriages, and also 10 
gramophones. That should be enough. And I will go to Mbesa. I will go to my port down right in here. I'm going to add Mbesa. And I'm going to sell everything that I will have. And in return, I'm going to buy Sanka cows. 150 of them. And then I will just unload everything in the new home. So this is accepted and we're going to check how much money we're going to earn from this trade route. Battle deck to attention. All right, so we got our ship and we're going to see how much money we're going to earn. Wow, that My was a huge <laughs> amount of money as you already saw. This was just huge. <laughs> so we just earned about 1 million if I thought it correctly. Not sure, but yeah, I was selling just 10 pieces of each. So as you can see, that's a huge boost of money. <laughs> and we got 150 Sanka cows. So we got our ship back as you can see, he just unloaded all the Sanga cows and now we can start produce our boots, leather boots for our scholars. So right now I have two buildings as you can see, two boot makers and the fact is that their pro pro processing time is 30 seconds which means that in one minute you're gonna require two Sanga cows and he also gonna need two Sanga cows. So in total even if the trade road it takes about 20 minutes we're gonna need about 80 and we got 150 sangha cows so i'm still good and i'm still gonna be safe to fulfill this all the time not too so as you can see sangha cows we have 20 minutes exactly 20 minutes again between those two sessions as you can see first one was 150 now we have 123 but this this is still fine as i previously showed you that we're gonna need about 40 for each production chain so in total we can even add additional one production chain to make sure that we're gonna use all sang accounts in our ledger boots production chain so we can build additional boot makers if we want of course So as you can see the boots are fulfilling they need so thanks to that I have more scholars more research points which also means that I can build some more houses just to make sure that I'm gonna have extra research points and as extra scholars in my city so I can just build every building with different view and that's gonna conclude this video so we have now everything done in here. So this we're going to continue in advanced guide gameplay when I'm going to talk about the scholars and how we're going to upgrade everything in here. So this is the way how you're going to get some leather boots really easy, nice and easy. And as you can see, you can earn plenty of money from this small lucrative trade. One million. All right, so that's it for today, boys and girls. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope that you had some fun with me and I hope that we're going to meet each other next time. So, boys and girls, have a wonderful day. And if you're watching this at night, then good night. See you next time.